Project Food Angel, a food delivery robot for the homeless. Project Food Angel is a food delivery robot to help with the problems of food insecurity and homelessness, and to test what is possible using robotics technology for this application. Food insecurity refers to the condition of not having access to sufficient food or food of an adequate quality to meet one's basic needs. Due to the lack of manpower and stigma surrounding the homeless, including fear and concern for safety and hygiene, food insecurity for the homeless is still a significant problem that needs to be addressed. Through this work, we would like to test what is possible using robotics technology to establish a design guideline for future robots for this application and to bring awareness about the problems of food insecurity. Utilizing autonomous wheeled robots for this application may seem to be a good approach. However, besides technical considerations such as range, payload, operation time, and autonomy, there are a number of important aspects that still need to be investigated, such as how the general public and the receiving end may feel about using robots for such applications, or human-robot interaction issues, such as how to communicate the intent of the robot to the homeless. A four-wheeled mobile robot for the outdoors, based on the open-source Leo Rover, is utilized for the base platform, and a simple cardboard box with a loosely taped up top was used as the initial payload delivery mechanism. Using a cardboard box instead of an automatically opening top was a deliberate choice, as preliminary investigations based on interviews with a number of homeless people have shown that they would be more comfortable with something they are already familiar with. Thus, the first prototype of Food Angel uses a simple cardboard box with a clear handwritten sign for communication instead of a screen or a speaker for audio cues. On the box, a hand-drawn smiley face is present to make it more approachable. In this first test, the robot was not autonomous, but rather teleoperated based on its onboard camera. For our research purposes, this factor won't affect the results of the experiment. This first deployment was supposed to just be a test for the mobile platform operations, but to our surprise, a real homeless individual was in the area, and thus, we decided to have the robot approach the gentleman. As you can see, the gentleman noticed the robot and approached it. He read the sign and understood the intent and instructions given. He followed the instructions and successfully retrieved the food from the box. And finally, he closed the lid of the box. Right after this unexpected encounter, we got permission to do a video interview with this gentleman to get feedback. And his name was Gary. Gary was gracious enough to answer questions and talk about his experience and interaction with the robot. From this, we were able to learn many aspects on which to expand upon, such as an effective way to collect data, easier to understand instructions and interface, a method of communication, and others. From this information, we plan to develop further versions of the robot and to conduct more proper tests in the near future. During our interview, Gary said one thing that was quite simple yet very powerful. He said, I love chips. And a tear rolled down his face. As engineers, it's important to not forget the reason we are developing technology. We develop robots to help people and to make this world a better place. We should always think about the impact of our work on society. This priceless moment Gary showed us gave us the motivation to continue our work and make a difference in this world. This may just be one small robot, but this is just the beginning. The authors would like to thank LA Fubank and the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at UCLA.